Sometimes what looks like a dermoid cyst, especially toward the nasal side, toward the nose, can be more than just a simple cyst. Yes, dermoid cysts are most commonly located uh, lateral to the eye uh, in an area called the zygomatical frontal suture line, and uh, that's where they're characteristically seen most often. But if they're nasal uh, near the nose, you have to distinct dis you have to distinguish that it's not that it is a dermoid cyst and not something more important like a an encephalocele, which is an outpocketing of brain tissue. You certainly don't want to be removing brain tissue if you don't know that it's, it is it is that. Would so, there be any test you would do on these before you do a surgery? Yes. Usually when I have a child with a, a nasal um, uh, dermoid cyst, I usually will get a CAT scan or an MRI to make sure that we're not dealing with brain tissue. The dermoid cyst can actually occur in other areas too. It could be on the eye, which is an epibulbar dermoid. It could be lateral near the near the fatty tissue and the lateral rectus muscle, and that would be called a dermolipoma. Um, all of these things, um, you know, they have to be distinguished from one, from one another, but obviously if it's brain tissue, which is nasal in the orbit, we do want to make sure that that's not uh, the case. And if, if you did see something that involved the brain tissue, that should be done by a neurosurgeon? Yes, and well, you can go in and do something about it, but you would do it in conjunction with a neurosurgeon.